Fox News alert now. Disgraced Hollywood mogul Harvey Weinstein sentenced to 23 years in prison. That came down this morning in New York State Supreme Court. He was convicted earlier, of course, of rape and sexual assault. Alex Hogan is live outside the New York State Supreme Court with more details. Alex, good morning. Good morning, Ed. This sentence just coming out minutes ago. We know that Harvey Weinstein is sentenced to 23 years behind bars, and then he will have five years of post-release supervision. For the very first time, we heard Harvey Weinstein actually address the court. He hasn't done this throughout the trial. He was saying that these were all extramarital affairs and that these were friendships, and he was protecting these women. But this has been an emotional morning for all of the women in court behind me. More than 90 women came forward through these years saying that he sexually assaulted them, whether it was recently or decades ago. And those women, the two women at the cornerstone of the case were able to address the court themselves today saying that all of this really coming as a weight on them and the PTSD, the depression that they suffered in the years following that. So again, here uh, again, the breaking news that we should tell you if you're just joining us, 23 years, that is the sentence that Harvey Weinstein will now face as a result of this. Those women addressing the court saying that the 67-year-old changed the course of their future warping what they identified as and, again, their relationships with people. These newly unsealed documents that we received this week shows the final efforts by the movie mogul to try to shape the future of what this court case would look like in the scandal. His defense team also making a last-ditch effort to try to get the minimum sentence, but again, we know that that was not allowed. He will face 23 years behind bars. Weinstein is currently in a wheelchair. The last time that he left the court, he actually went to the hospital instead of going to jail. That was because he had to undergo heart surgery. He's also suffering from a back surgery, and that's why we saw him time and time again in the courthouse entering with a walker, but again, now leaving in a wheelchair. We likely will not see him here. However, we are expected to hear from the defense team as well as the accusers lawyers so at a lot coming out of this and we'll be a lot here coming down indeed 23 years in prison is the bottom line alex hogan thank you for those details